So we're finally back in the shop. We have a new project for you folks that we're bringing. A lot of you were here when we built this uh, five, six years ago now. Boy, time flies. May, maybe four years, but I think around five. Anyway, this 2x72 grinder was the first major fabricating job that we did in the shop as we were getting the blacksmith shop going. This thing has done very well for me. It's ground so many chisels, knives, draw knives, axe heads. It's really done well. It's been good, but we can do better. I've learned quite a bit more since I built this, and I came into a bunch of good heavy steel that we can make an industrial strength 2x72 belt grinder, something with a lot of weight. Now, I also now have the means to where we can actually mill some things, get our tolerances tighter so we don't get any of the, uh, like that right there. That right there actually throws us off quite a bit. I put shim stock in that from time to time, and it still just works its way out. And that leads to uneven wear on our aluminum uh, guide wheels. As uh, far as the motor, the two-horse motor has been perfect for this. It's a 3500 RPM. We have a uh, frequency drive that runs it. It's a three-phase motor with insulation heavy enough to do it. Now, a couple things we're going to lose moving forward into the next design is, if you remember, I built a foot pedal for this to take the belts on and off. Works great. I like it, but I'm not going to incorporate that into the new design because we're making a grinder that can actually go horizontal or vertical. So what we have is we have some 5 8 plate steel that we're going to be mounting our motor to. It's going to be a lot of good stuff. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll catch you on the other side of it. So we have the main plate for this cut out. We have the motor fitted in. Now there's a lip on this motor. So I had to, I got creative and made a, just a homemade circle cutting jig for the plasma cutter. I'm brand new to the plasma cutter. I have some cuts I'm very not happy with. I've never even used one before. 
what you guys see in this video it's actually the first hookup the first run with it and I'm actually really happy with it God bless YouTube and everything you know shit everything it shows you on there so you can uh, you can figure out how to do this stuff I'm a little out of practice with talk to the camera guys you're gonna have to forgive me it may even get a little long-winded because it has been so long so anyway more of the changes coming with this belt grinder is we have a just under four inch dry wheel on this. We're actually going to be switching to it's about a six and a quarter inch wheel. It's going to afford us a much higher belt speed. Now, obviously, we can turn that back with the VFD and the speed control on that. That is the beauty of having a VFD, it makes everything really nice. But I'm going to need this back on the other grinder so that we can get the tool arm set up and all that going. We'll get as far as we can tonight and just see what develops. The 5H plate that we're using, I want the motor recessed a little bit into the main plate of the machine so that I have a little more room for adjustment on the, the drive pulley coming off of the motor. <clears throat> so we're going to make some hold downs for the mini mill, which I've never made any fixtures yet. This will be the first time. We'll see how that goes. Doesn't look all that complicated. Just an L-shaped piece of steel that we could set up and hold the big plate onto the mill. Now this is a tiny mill. The travel isn't huge on it. Doesn't have a ton of power, so this is going to be a slow process. Probably we'll get to that in the next video, but let's at least make the hold downs, get those on there, and we'll continue on. Well, it's been an awful long time since we've sat in the rocking chair, threw our feet up on the anvil and closed out a video. I apologize. I had a little promotion at work that uh, took a whole lot of my time up since last December. We had every intention of getting out here in the shop and putting out a lot of videos, but unfortunately the job got so busy. I had a territory about four hours away that we've been, as a company, been trying to do a lot of work to kind of straighten some things out and that's what took the majority of the time so I was making that drive staying in a hotel that went on for months finally I've been able to start finally catching up at home I've finally been making tools again and shipping them out 
but that's the stuff that life throws at us. Um, getting into this channel, I really enjoy doing the daily videos. Unfortunately, that's just not possible now. Of course, I'd like to do them a lot more than once every, you know, nine, ten months. But I'm hoping coming into fall, I'm really hoping that we have a lot more time to go through this. The last video we put out was that waste oil burner, and there were some questions on that that we will get to this fall, I hope. But I will say that thing works beautifully. It heats this space, this forge area up. When I'm not running the forge, it heats it up beautifully. It's amazing how much heat that thing puts out. Five gallon pail, I get anywhere from eight to 12 hours out of it, depending on how hot I'm burning it. But that thing was amazing. It was worth the time and all that. Plus I get pl plenty of fuel for it uh, between the farm. People always want to get rid of waste oil. It burns clean, there's no smoke. Very happy with it. So anyway, we are working on this new two by 72 belt grinder. I told you guys before at the beginning of the video that the old one has worked great. We've made a lot of money with it. We've done a lot of projects with it, but I've learned a lot since I built that. I'm a better fabricator since I built that. I have some better tools. I'm still a disorganized pig, but that's what you get when you tune in here. That's just the way it is. As you know, as I get back in the shop more on a regular basis, things get cleaned up, gets tidied up, gets easier to work. But the first few projects are always a cluster something or other. I'm sure you guys could fill in the blanks. But uh, So I have been a little bit on Instagram here and there. Not a ton. I just trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, did teach a timber frame class back in July down at the Blackthorn Resort for the Maker Camp events. We will be putting that up Columbus Day weekend in uh, East Durham, New York, and we'll see what develops. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this and hopefully we uh, continue on with this much sooner than we have been. So have a good one. I'll catch you on the next one.